fire me, have fun dealing with the FSA. Posted on Pretty Revenge. This is a fresh story. It takes place within 24 hours of me posting this. Some backstory before we begin. So three weeks ago I left my corporate small fry job making 12 hour with tips for a cushy salaried 60k year head chef position. The new job seemed to be going really well, I was enjoying it. The owner got some much needed time off and time to work on his reservations to the place. I knew I wasn't walking into the most well-maintained clean environment and planned to really spruce up the kitchen, keep in mind I was the only kitchen staff they had. The owner seemed really nice. He only had to pop in for about 30 minute a day to see if I needed anything from the store. My coworkers were all really nice, and all the regulars gave me high praise for my food. It was honestly a dream job for me. When I was going through the interview process I had informed my potential new employer that I had some pre-approved time off at my old job, three days to celebrate my 25th birthday with my husband and his mother. Three days because my mother and her boyfriend were coming from another state for their normal visit, and two days to celebrate my husband's birthday, all of which were spread throughout the month of June. First round of three days went by with no issue. I returned to work and had a good time. Next three days went by spending time with my mom. When I returned to work this last Tuesday, everything seemed fine. Yesterday I went into work. Not really having any prep to do and being a thunderstorm day it was slow. I maybe did 150 in food sales in a full 8-hour shift. I sent a text to the owner asking if he wanted me to shut down early. As was the example he sent during my first week of training. We did $300 in food sales and he shut us down an hour early for it being too slow. He responded and said no, keep the kitchen open full hours no matter what. I understood, responded that I would without issue, and went about my night. That evening about 10 minutes after I returned home the owner asked me to call him. In the phone call he informed me that our relationship was not working out and we needed to part ways. I had no warnings, no talking toes and he could give me no reasonings other than you just had six days off and you wanted to close early, it seems you're just not the right fit. Now, my husband, mother-in-law, and myself were fuming as it's kind of a shit thing to do to an employee, but due to us being in an at-will state there was nothing I could do to fight it. This morning I'm on indeed putting out more applications and I noticed my old job was posted, but with a minor change. The new posting went from 60k year down to 18 hour, nearly half of what he agreed to pay me. This pissed me off. If he was just a decent human and told me that he couldn't uphold the original agreement for the salary I would have agreed to a pay cut. I did really enjoy this job and the people I was with. Instead he beat around the bush and refused to give me any reasonings, making me believe I had done something wrong. So now I've concocted the revenge. I only worked for him for 12 shifts total, in those 12 shifts I did some cleaning but couldn't accomplish it all as there was a lot. So this morning I went and grabbed the email for the FSA, Food Safety Administration for those who may not know, for my county, and sent them a lengthy email about my concerns for this place. As a less detailed version it included things like, flooring being a safety hazard. There are literal chunks missing allowing food to get stuck and people to get hurt refrigeration systems leaking and not being properly maintained, a large mold outbreak behind one of the food lines, containers of veggies being used for pizzas that were dated as being open mid-April, suggested use time is 7 days fresh, 14 canned, workers dropping food and picking it up off the floor before serving said dropped food to customers, my personal fav, a bartender coming back with shakers filled with grated parm cheese that molded, the owner telling her to pick the mold out and refill the shakers with the unmolded cheese. Plus more things that I won't include on here, but the state of the place was atrocious. I will update y'all if anything ever comes of this, I'm not sure if anything will. Either way it's made me feel better knowing that there's a chance that there could be some backlash to an owner who has no common courtesy for their fellow workers. Edit. Because people keep saying this, no I was not okay with the conditions. Aside from the floor it was just a lot of cleaning that I knew I would be able to get done with time. I only had 12 days to try and change anything and that is, was not enough time to deep clean a kitchen by yourself, that you can't shut down. As for the gross food violations I threw out what foods I could, 
and when I noticed the bartenders doing violations I pulled them aside and spoke to them privately after trying to replace the necessary items. One person cannot change a whole crew in a few days. Am I the asshole for telling my friend the real reason I did not want him to join me on a trip? So I 25F have a friend, 26 million, who we will call a has been my best friend since middle school and my travel buddy for the past couple of years now. We both seem to match in terms of our frequency of being able to get time off. And financially, so he was usually my go-to person if I wanted to travel somewhere and did not want to go alone. When traveling, we kinda differ in terms of what we like to do. I would consider it to be more of the touristy type. He likes to see the main stuff. Then usually party, drink, relax, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. I however like to immerse myself in the different cultures of places I travel, and what comes with that is doing a great deal of due diligence about the customs and overall way of life about the place you are visiting as to show your utmost respect, and to basically not make an ass out of yourself. Other countries already have plenty of generalizations about Americans, I definitely do not want to add negatively to that. Recently I have been planning a trip to Japan. I am very excited about this trip and have been doing a lot of studying up on basic terms, what behavior is considered acceptable and what's not, and about overall Japanese culture. I want to be as informed as possible before going. When I found out about this, he asked if he could join, to which I promptly told him no, he was a little taken aback by my lack of hesitation. Usually, I would have jumped at the opportunity to have a come along to have fun with. But, ever since our school days I has always been the outgoing, boisterous one of the two. He loves to drink, which I know he would want to on a trip. And while he stated before that he would love to go to Japan someday, he knows nothing of and has not been studying up on Japanese culture like I have. I just don't think it would be a good idea to bring him along, seeing as he treats these trips more as vacations than a culture dive, again, nothing wrong with that. That's just not the purpose of this one. I didn't say this to him in the moment as to avoid conflict, so I told him to drop it. Ever since he's been bringing it up, asking me if I'm sure, I don't want him to go and if I'm sure then why, you always want me to join. I finally snapped after so much pestering and told him that realistically he knows absolutely nothing about how to act in Japan and would essentially embarrass me the both of us because this is not kinkin. He got really quiet and left me alone after that. I haven't heard from him for a day or so and out of the blue I get a text from him saying he's questioning our entire friendship now if I've thought in my head all this time that he is an embarrassment. I did not say that. I just said that he has not been studying like I have and he countered with I never gave him the chance. I don't want to lose my friendship over this and I feel bad but was I the asshole here for just being honest after being pestered so much? Am I the asshole for throwing my date out of my house? I never used any dating apps before or after this, and I've never really gone on dates, so I have no idea what is normal or not acceptable. So, I matched with a guy on Tinder, we wrote a bit together and it seemed like we had quite a few things in common. After a few days, we decided to meet up, he suggested we go to the town he lived in, 30 minute drive for me, but I worked there, buy a few beers and go to the beach. I agreed. We met up, bought a couple of beers at a supermarket, sat down at a park to drink them and talk, then went to the beach and swam a bit in the ocean. I believe everything was going really well. It was getting late, and he asked if he could come to my place. I told him it was a bit far and that I had to get up to work in the morning, but that he was welcome if he didn't mind that. He had no issues with that. I had taken the train to work that day because I knew we were going to get beers, but he had his car. He only had two smaller beers, and it had been some time now, so this is not an in our country. So, we drive to my place in his car. I think we started watching a movie but he pretty quickly got to the chill part of that, if you know what I mean. Want to add here, that I thought we were really hitting it off, so I didn't mind this, after the funny business, we went to sleep. But then came the morning, my alarm rang and we both woke up. He started touching me but I told him I had to go to work, and that I didn't have the time right now. He asked, if I couldn't just stay home, and I laughed and said unfortunately not, but we can meet after work. 
I don't quite remember the answer, but we both got up and things seemed fine. I told him I would have to leave within 15 minutes and asked what he wanted to do, he said he would wait until I had to leave. While I was in the bathroom getting ready, with the door open so we could talk if needed, he had gone through all of the kitchen cabinets. I didn't live alone, so these are not just my cabinets. He knew this and made himself some coffee. I found this to be really weird. I would never just open other people's things and take stuff, no matter how small, without asking them. I didn't comment on it though. He drank the coffee and I got the last bit ready to leave. I told him I have to leave now and he again started touching me. I again told him that I didn't have time and that I already told him yesterday before coming that I would have to go to work. He got a bit angry and we went outside. He then asked me why I was being like this, and I told him I didn't understand what he meant. I again said that he already knew I had work and that I do not skip. I then said that we could meet up later but that I really had to go now, so we should text each other to decide the time and place. He said okay and went to his car and left. He later texted me, and asked why I would ruin everything like that, after we had such a good time, and if I was actually just looking for a one-night stand. I was so confused by this message, because I felt like I could have written the same message to him. I really don't see what his problem was with me not skipping work and instead just meeting up later. Am I the asshole? Should I have skipped work? Should I have said something else? Is it normal to go through people's cabinets, when you've only known them for 12 hours? Did he just try to guilt trip me? This is quite some time ago, but I keep thinking about it. Maybe I should have acted differently.